Are you experiencing popping, crackling, or kind of a rattling sound inside your Apple AirPods Pro? This can be maddening and completely ruin your listening experience. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and some users report this is worse with active noise cancelling on. So what gives? What is the cause of this annoying noise, and how can you fix it? I'm going to tell you in this review, but an early heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. The first solution is to ensure you're running the latest iOS firmware on your phone. Now, I'm not sure why the firmware would be causing what sounds like an audible rattle inside my AirPods Pro, but that was one of the first things that Apple recommends I do in order to resolve any concerns with the AirPods Pro. Sadly, but not surprisingly, the software update did nothing to help. The next recommended fix was to do a hard reset on the Apple AirPods Pro. To do that, put your AirPods in their charging case and close the lid. Wait about 30 seconds, then open the lid of your charging case. On your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, go to Settings, then Bluetooth, and tap the Information button, or the I, next to your AirPods. And if you don't see your AirPods in Settings, you can just skip this step. You'll tap Forget This Device, and then tap again to confirm. With the lid open, press and hold the Setup button on the back of the case for about 15 seconds until the status light flashes amber, then white. Reconnect your AirPods by watching for the pop-up on your phone's screen, then following the steps to reconnect. Much to my dismay, this also did not fix the problem. Next, I found some chat forums online where they recommended using sticky tape to remove anything that may be potentially blocking the AirPods grills. My results? Nada. Moving on to more extreme measures, I tried cleaning the AirPods with cotton swabs and a tiny drop of isopropyl alcohol. This unfortunately proved ineffective as well. Figuring at this point I had nothing left to lose, I moved to the last fix, trying to use compressed air. Now, there are plenty of websites that will tell you using compressed air on your AirPods Pro is a dangerous game, so only use this as a last resort. There are three small vents or small grills on your AirPods Pro that might have something potentially lodged inside them. You can use a can of compressed air to indirectly and gently blow them out. But again, this didn't work for me. At this point, I have to assume something is broken inside my right AirPod Pro. Since these are out of warranty, my only option is to replace the damaged bud at a price of 89 US dollars. So that is an option, and it's definitely cheaper than buying all new AirPods Pro, but it is a bit disappointing that I got only just over two years of use out of them. Now couple that with the fact that I'm also fighting with my MacBook Pro and some perpetually sticky keys, and I'm kind of mad at Apple right now. In the end, I did end up ordering a brand new AirPod, and now I have a fully functioning set of AirPods Pro again. If you're having similar problems with your AirPods, I would love to know if any of the fixes I suggested did indeed work for you. I'm also curious about the longevity of your AirPods Pro, so don't forget to post your experience and comments below. If you want to read more on this topic or reference any of what I've talked about here, you can head over to techgadgetscanada.com for a full write-up. There, you can also ask me any questions you have about your AirPods Pro. You can also post them here, of course, in comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.